Coach, uh, thrilling victory here tonight. I think a lot of people would say an upset victory, but again, like the, the Red Oak Shenandoah rivalry, you know, the the records never really do matter. But uh, what was the approach heading into this uh, with with a team? You know, they had won twelve, you'd won four, and like you like I said, probably uh, a lot of people thought it was uh, you were the underdog. Um, our main thought coming into this was just fight, fight. You know, we're coming in as the underdogs, and most people knew that since we did only have four wins. And Shan beat us earlier in the season, but I told the kids, I was like, just come in and fight. Fight for what you want and take what's yours, that if you want it, you can get it. Emma, uh, she had her share of base runners but worked out of trouble pretty almost every single inning. She gave up just the one run. What did you see from her? A lot of perseverance she does, you know, um, when she gets down on herself, you just got to keep talking to her, say, you got this kid, you got this, and she keeps fighting through. She did a fantastic job, and she's been doing great on the mound all year. She's really progressed, and I'm really excited to see where she's going to go. Big six run inning there in the fourth, capped by the Kendall Kells bomb. Uh, what did that do for the team? I know they only scored one more run, but it maybe even got you defensively. You guys looked a little more peppy, too. Um, Kendall Kells is a big hitter, and we like having her in that four spot. That three-run home run really propelled us and get us, gave us a good push to be like, okay, hey, finish. We got this. You turn right around and play an Atlantic team that won the Hawkeye 10 Conference, another good pitcher, another very good team. What are your thoughts on how you guys will uh, approach that one? Um, my thoughts are hopefully just come back in and fight. Fight. You know, we're going to be the underdog, and everybody knows, but just keep fighting, keep working, and we're going to go places. One more thing. You're supposed to say go Tigers. Go Tigers. <laughs> All right, Emma Beerbomb, she fires a complete game here tonight, shutting out a Shenandoah team that, not shutting them out, they gave a, gave a one run, but they averaged nine per game. What's, uh, what, was, what was the secret here tonight? Any idea? I don't really have a secret. I just tried to come out here and play with everything I had. It was kind of a little rough. It was kind of hard to figure out the zone tonight, but I just put my heart on the field and I tried my best. You know, there were multiple times where there were base runners on, you know, on both sides, but for you, you were able to work out of them. How were you able to do that? I, I try not to worry about the base runners. I try to focus on me and my catcher and just throwing the ball. You and Delaney kind of trading zeros there early through the first three innings, and then your team puts up six. What did that do for your confidence and maybe relax you a little bit too? It definitely relaxed me a lot. I have a bunch of great players on my team, and I'm so thankful for all of them. Delaney is a great pitcher also, and congrats to them on their good season, and can't wait to play Atlantic. Yeah. Now, Atlantic tomorrow night, but what does this tonight mean right now to beat your rival and eliminate them and get that loss back from uh, you know June 16th? It feels so good. I feel like every year, every season, we end up winning one against Shan and we lose one. They are such a great team. I, I can't explain how I feel right now. Congratulations. Thank you. Kendall, a three-run home run to lead a victory here tonight over Shenandoah. Tell me about that at bat. When you hit it, it was just pretty much directly right down the left field line. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, my first at bat, I got walked, I got hit. Um, you know, just making contact, her speed, you, you just get the right pitch and it'll travel. And it just, it went my way that time. It was a huge hit in a game that was kind of low scoring at the time. Uh, what do you think that did for for the dugout, for the team, for you know, you know, for Emma as well? It gave us a lot more fight. The dugout, the team, we were talking the whole time. Got to keep that up. Got to tell Emma, you know, keep her up. She's she pitched a great game, and we just got to keep keep supporting each other as a team. What is? I know you guys probably came in. Uh, I think a lot of people probably had you as the underdog. I know that when it comes to Red Oak Shenandoah, records never matter. What what, what does this win mean to you and your team? Oh, it means so much. It's after that that loss at the beginning of the season. We were just getting, you know, it's brand new team, brand new coaches. We were getting our routine together, and we've come together, come a lot throughout the season. It's it's just great, especially as a senior, getting that last that last chance at them. You'll take a shot at Atlantic tomorrow. That's a very good team themselves. What uh, what what are your thoughts heading into that one and and what they present? Um, Atlantic is a very 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 good team, and that, but we just stay in there with them. You know, just do our part. Just get those outs, hit hit away, and let it let it do itself. Congrats on the win. Thank you.